In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some helpful Blender add-ons that will assist you when working with nodes in Blender. I mean some cool stuff that you really have to see if you are a nodes user. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Right off the bat, we have this add-on called Node Preview, which is well known in the Blender community, especially for node geeks like Bad Normals. The main features of this add-on is the ability to see rendered thumbnails above shader nodes for each node, where a preview thumbnail is gonna be rendered. Now, you might be wondering if this add-on would make your interface lag. Actually, the previews are rendered in the background so that the Blender interface is fast and responsive. Also, no changes are made to the blend files, and the good thing is, other people without the add-on can still open your scenes without any problems. The add-on has amazing features. It also comes with some minor drawbacks that might slow down your workflow. For example, to show previewed for packed images, the blend file has to be saved to the drive first, and thumbnails of image sequences are not updated when changing frames. And also, IES nodes are currently not supported. But other than this, the add-on is actually fantastic and it can be useful in many different situations and for different people. The add-on actually has many good reviews from users and it has generated over 4,000 sales in the last couple of years just on the Blender market, making it one of the most needed add-ons for any Blender user, especially those who need nodes. Node preview is great. But the next add-on will help you a lot if you like having huge complex node trees. It will make navigating through a node tree much easier by providing a small mini-map on the side. And the add-on is called Node Mini-Map. As I said just now, it displays an interactive node map of the node tree in all node editors. This will essentially let you have a bigger image of your whole node tree, which will make your workflow a bit smoother. It lets you use the middle mouse button to navigate through the minimap, which is very convenient. And what's great about the add-on is that it lets you customize it. For example, you can choose the position and with proportions of the minimap, and you can choose to show node color by type or by custom colors. This add-on is small, fun, and useful. However, I don't know why it is not that popular. Probably its price. But if you work with big node trees, I think it will provide a good value for you especially if you work with geometry nodes. Talking about geometry nodes, we have this add-on called Hexas Geometry Nodes Toolset, which will basically help you improve and enhance procedural workflows by providing you with improved and enhanced procedural workflows. From what I can see, each node group has its own distinct function. You can combine these node groups with other nodes to make some cool and interesting things in a matter of just seconds. The node groups are divided into 12 different categories which are Geometry Deformers, Generators, Geometry Measure, Utilities, Mesh Primitives, Selection, Falloffs, Curves, Distribution, SDF nodes, and lastly Simulation. The add-on is easy and simple to use. You just need to go to the Add menu in Geometry Nodes, then you will find the Hexas toolset at the end. Once you click on it, the categories will appear for you. You can choose the category that you like and then select the node group that you want to add. After that, you can just connect the node group you added with other nodes that matches it to create some impressive stuff. And let me give you some examples. I mean some examples of what you can do with the node groups of this add-on. You can use the deformer category to bend, stretch, and twist geometry. But you can do a lot of other stuff using other categories. So feel free to experiment to get different things. Since we mentioned node groups a lot in the Hexas toolset add-on, let's take a look at this add-on which lets you convert any custom node group into an add-on. And this add-on is called Node2Code. And as its name suggests, it allows you to generate an add-on using material nodes, in addition to world nodes, composite nodes, and geometry nodes, or any other combination of these four. Node2Code lets you use the add-on as a panel, or a menu entry, or both at the same time. You don't even have to worry about packaging all your files because the Note 2 Code add-on will automatically package all the external data including images, text, and any external values. To generate add-ons using this tool, you can start by selecting the nodes that you want to be converted, then go to the Note 2 Code panel and hit Generate Add-on. 
and then click export and install and it's gonna be as easy as that now you are all set to enjoy and use your new add-on and you can either choose to sell these add-ons online or keep them for yourself to use them for whatever purpose especially if you have a lot of projects that need notes now with a different kind of add-on we have bake a note add-on which basically lets you bake notes now you might say that this already exists in blender by default and there is nothing impressive about it however we all know that blender sucks very much when it comes to baking and it takes so freaking long just to bake a few notes and this can piss a lot of people off so i think this add-on might work as an effective solution for this problem the add-on is useful and helpful, especially when you have a complex note tree. You can just bake all these nodes into an image texture. You can choose the resolution you want and the number of samples. And you can also select the output socket in case there is more than one available. The add-on is effective, but I don't think it is up there yet. And I don't recommend using it when it comes to a professional setting. But hey, since it is free, you might as well get it and start using it in some projects and see what it can do and then decide whether it's gonna be effective or not. Moving on, we have a nice add-on called Geometry Nodes Quick Dock. And this one allows you to access documentation for a selected geometry node by adding a panel and a menu option in Blender's node editor. The add-on doesn't offer a lot of big options or very impressive features, rather it just facilitates accessing the documentation for a node. This can save you a lot of time, maybe just a few minutes, but hey, every second counts, especially when working on a project using geometry nodes and specifically if you have a client that is pixel effing you all the time. The developer promises to include the shader editor in the future updates and he also promises to add some features such as manual lookup in both the node editor and the 3d viewport in addition to a node menu access so the add-on i think is gonna be worth more once these features and tools are gonna be implemented so guys if you are interested in one of these add-ons you will find all the necessary links in the description I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.